A first alert update on the fight among lawmakers across the state to restructure marijuana laws. This time both sides come together on legislation that would decriminalize small amounts of marijuana. We have a reaction from both Democrats and Republicans tonight. Holly Brantley breaks down the bill. She talked to lawmakers about what it would mean for the state. Lawmakers are asking for more support of a bill that would decriminalize possession of marijuana 14 grams and under. Representative Shay Sortwell of Two Rivers is one of the bill's sponsors. What this looks at is trying to figure out, okay, how can we have a universal standard across the state? Because right now we have kind of a patchwork across the state. And how can we come to an agreement on, on how we're going to treat marijuana? Under current law, possession of up to 14 grams comes with a fine up to $1,000 and the possibility of six months in jail. The new bipartisan effort would throw out the jail time and fines would be a minimum of $100 up to $250. For some municipalities like Appleton and Green Bay, that would actually increase fines. In Green Bay, for instance, the fine would go up by $39. Right now, it's 61. Overall, Sortwell says polls show this is what the public wants. What the public says overwhelmingly, no matter what else they say on, on, the, on the marijuana issue, the one thing they are consistent and overwhelmingly in support of is saying, we don't think that small levels of possession should be a serious crime. So far, the bill has gained mixed response. Critics of the legislation say Wisconsin needs to stay away from any form of legalizing marijuana. However, Democrats like Lee Snodgrass of Appleton say taking steps towards legalization is exactly what we need to do. I think it's far past time that Wisconsin legalizes and decriminalizes. I mean, I think we're we're missing economic opportunities. She says decriminalizing marijuana could also decrease the jail population. We spend so much money as a state um, keeping people in car who should that be there? And um, it's certainly decriminalization of marijuana possession and sale would be a big part of reducing our prison population, which we know is too high. And, you know, really the goal is to make sure that people are not in prison. Other elements of the bill would give law enforcement more flexibility in how they handle each marijuana case, giving them the choice whether to book a person into jail found to be in possession. It would also limit liability for businesses and employers who decide not to require THC drug testing. Sortwell says he believes the bill will be formally introduced in the next week. Holly Brantley, Action 2 News.